Hello and welcome. I'm Odin and in this video I'm going to explain to you what role-based access control is all about. In this video you're going to learn how to use role-based access control and how you can implement it in your application. So let's get started. You might have an organization and some people working on applications in your platform. To make sure that your team fulfills their ultimate role in the MyBeddyBox environment we can now set the roles and permission per developer. So let's navigate to the roles and permissions overview and we can see that we define two different types of development roles. Here you see the organization roles. We won't dive into these roles, but this video we are going to dive in the latter, the application development roles. This is what we can use to define the specific personas in our development team. The first one is the citizen developer. The citizen developer is responsible for configuring and updating the application. The person is usually a business work user working on the platform every now and then. By default, the permissions are disabled and we advise you to keep them like that unless you want to change it yourself. The second is the business technologist, a more experienced builder who can build more complex application. This persona is a perfect mix between business and development, making them the ideal practitioner to build business applications. And the last one is the de low-code developer. The low-code developer has the highest level of expertise and is responsible for customizing and supporting other builders. By default, all permissions are enabled for this user. So let's see how you can change this in the user management of your application. You can go to an application, open up user management, and here you can see the roles a user has. And you can apply any of the roles from the role-based access feature to this user. So let's give my user the business technologist role. Now we can see if my user actually has a different view or different options and permissions within the platform. So let's open up the application and dive into the changes. The first thing we're going to do is open up the roles and permissions setting in your application because this is one of the things a business technologist cannot do as a start. So as you can see here, I cannot change anything on the email configuration model that I have in my application. So we could change this in the RBAC role-based application control feature options. So let's go back into my Betty blocks, back into the organization and open up the roles and permissions setting for your organization's development roles. Check the business technologist role and let's enable that business technologist user to make changes to the roles and permissions of your data model. You can change this for pages as well and in the future more permission roles and settings will be added. So let's go back into the application, open the app, go back to the roles and permissions and as you can see the Check marks are now colored for me, meaning that I can check and change everything as a business technologist, meaning I can optimally change the roles of my development team to my liking. We can have business developers, we can have citizen developers and local developers. All developers coming together to make your perfect business development team. And that's it for this video. We've learned what role-based access control is, namely about the permissions a user has based on his builder role. And we know how to configure the role-based access control feature by giving the role the permission to make changes to a certain feature of the platform or not. Good luck building your own development teams and setting up your own configurations and see you in the next video.